Yo, so we back in here for another edition of Your Mother, and it's the hip hop segment. I, I, I gotta figure out a name to call it when I talk about hip hop and put it probably do like Vlad and put it in the playlist so I can isolate different segments. But in the time being, all this shit going in one pal it says Eminem on Guilty Conscious 2. He goes on to mention, I don't know who the hell, Christopher, MGK, Nick, Limp Biscuit, Benzino, Bidgets, Will Smith, Ja Rule. He was just taking aim at everybody right now. I wouldn't listen to Guilty Conscious 2. It was trash. Let me just get that out the way. It was thorough trash. And I really wanted to like it because I like the original Guilty Conscious with him and Dre. And I was under the impression that it was going to be some like iteration of that in 2024. But in the words of John Mayer, you don't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes... You may find you get what you need. It was trash. Not only was it trash because it didn't have Dre on it. And it didn't have the back and forth. It had him at the end going back and forth between Marshall Mathers and Slim. Or Slim Shady. It was just garbage. His bars were lazy. Like this is far removed from the rap god. The um, Eminem of 2009. 10, 11, 12. It's, it's not even that guy. It's this new guy. His bars were just trash. Yeah, he was rhyming. But it was just, I don't know. I listened to the whole thing. I played it back. I didn't really want to listen to it again after that. And the Marshall Mathers LP and the Slim Shady LP, I can listen to those back to back like forever. But like I said, after Marshall Mathers LP, everything else, in my opinion, was trash. Slim Shady Show, the Eminem Show, Encore, Revival, Relapse, Recovery, all that garbage. Music, The Murder too, And now this, The Death of Slim Shady, that Houdini was garbage. Like, it's packing up time for bro. Like, I, when he came back in the game in 2008... I thought he might have been on to something. Even though he was rapping real fast and he was hijacking a flow from 1996. I was going I was willing to put up with Marshall Mathers, aka Bruce Wayne. He wasn't Slim Shady, aka Batman. But I was willing to put up with him, right? But this new guy in 2024, I don't know if it's the fact that he's 51. He's past his prime. He's sober. He's just whack. Like, I, I, I hate to even be like that. And it's not because he's white. Even though that doesn't help. It hurts. <laughs> it's one thing when you're black and you washed up. We'll forgive that. Because we understand that niggas get old. <laughs> when you're a white dude and you rap. While we understand that you too will get old. When you get old, it's kind of like you turn corny. I mean, DJ Quick is 54. I will still listen to it quick because he still has that rhythmism. He still got that flavor. Sugar Free is 51. He still got that flavor. I will listen to a Dog Pound and Daz album, even though they released some DPGC shit with Snoop Dogg, Lady of Rage, and RBX. And while I listened to one song, it was dope. And they in their mid 50s. But Marshall Mathers going into his mid 50s, yeah, I'm not feeling it. Like it, 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 he's lost that. Like when he was that crazy white boy with the Jason mask and the chainsaw. Like that's why we liked him, bro. Was all, he was unhinged? He was wild like the brothers. Now, I'm sorry. It's just whack. It's just painful for me to say this because although he's not top five, he is top fifty MCs of all time. I do have to give him that. I won't ever take him that. Take him away from that. And if I had to log him in top 50 MCs, he's probably, in my book, number, I'll be generous. He's number 30. That's where I'm at with him. So, this is painful for me to say. And if I ever met Marshall, I would actually say this. Just like I would with Bone Thugs and Harmony. They my favorite rap group, but they didn't turn to trash. It's painful to watch. It's like a car wreck. You want to look away, but you can't. In my in, in my case, I'm just not going to look, though. I'm going to keep driving. In any event, if y'all like this episode, you know what to do. YouTube, I didn't cuss. Let me get my bread and I'm out. No one's